This is finally a pretty good movie. Still isn't the best. It's weird that it took so long for an iconic series like Friday the 13th to get a decent movie. There's nothing wrong with the first one and a few of them here and there weren't that bad. I thought five was pretty decent until further in. But we finally get to see Jason killing and it's not in first person. Like they did for four movies straight. Technically three, I guess, since it was that random dude Rob in the last movie. But whatever. Um, anyways, he's finally killing people, and we get to see him doing it, instead of a weird first person shot, and then they finally show him near the end of the movie, like they always do for the final act. So this movie has Tommy again, he survives again, but it's a different actor this time. I wonder if he's going to get another new actor, if he's going to even return. I don't know what else they're going to do with him. He killed Jason, now he tried to kill him again. He successfully killed him when um, he was a kid, but he wasn't good enough to kill him in this movie when he's a grown-ass adult. <laughs> he, um for some reason decides that the only way to keep Jason dead for good is to like drown him in the lake that he like originally died in when he was a kid. It's a very weird conclusion and the girl just kind of goes with it. There's, it also starts with him and this dude named Hawes, who I really liked. He seemed like a great friend. And I just really liked the actor. Sadly, he dies. I out loud said no when he died because I really liked him. I didn't think he was going to die that quick. Jason comes back to life after a lightning strike hits him in his grave. So ironically enough, Tommy wanting to finish Jason off is what brought Jason back to life. So he brought Jason back to life. Because he wanted Jason dead. <laughs> He's a rotted corpse with maggots and he that's still still not enough for Tommy apparently. So Tommy's like pouring gasoline and shit on him. And beating the shit out of him with the metal thing from the fence that he breaks off. Which is what gets hit by lightning and brings Jason back to life. Hawes runs away once he sees Tommy about to get attacked. Just for him to come running back with a shovel. And he hits Jason in the head and the shovel just breaks. Which is kind of weird since he like, you know, just got reanimated as a corpse. But... Okay. And then he's immediately killed. Jason just punches him straight through the chest. And then Tommy drives away after screaming. I liked him. I don't know why I liked him that much, but he he was a pretty cool character. And the rest of the movie is just him trying to convince the sheriff that, you know, Jason's alive. While his daughter does believe him, the sheriff's daughter anyway, does believe that Jason's alive. And then sprinkled throughout the movie, people getting killed. It's, it's pretty decent, it's pretty entertaining. And it's been better than like any of the other movies so far. There's also some hilarious lines from the kids. Where there's one... Where they're like, I think we're dead meat. And then once he starts hearing the girl scream for her dad, he says, real dead meat. 
And then later, the another kid asked the kid that delivered that line, um, what were you going to do when you thought you were going to grow up or something like that? And then the scene ends. They also have another transition in the movie where, like, this dude, you know, he didn't want to lose his job, so he, you know, buries the body again, Jason's grave again, with, um, Haw's body in it. He just assumes it's Jason's because he doesn't want to touch it, and the foot's, like, sticking out of the coffin. And he's like, you gotta you know, you know, dig it, see that Jason's not there, but, um, he obviously doesn't want to do that, and he's like, no, it, it's been like that, because he doesn't want to get in trouble from the cops, which he didn't really need to anyway, you know, defend himself, because they're just calling the dude crazy, and for some reason, he decides to say, what does that dude think I am, a fart head? And then, like, the scene ends, and it's a bunch of kids saying, yeah. Overall, I do think it was a pretty decent movie. Hopefully, it stays that way for the next two movies. The last two movies I'm going to review, because Jason X and Jason Goes to Hell did not come with the DVD movie collection. Yeah, that's about it.